Hey gang, I'm here at Memorial Park Cemetery in Skokie and I was here just doing some recon, some scouting for another episode and I was here early today and I was looking for, I remember that my grandparents were buried here and my aunt haven't seen and I visited the graves maybe 20 years ago and I looked for them and I could not find them so I did shoot the episode, I just finished my episode on the little boy who was killed in that horrific plane crash in New York. Anyway, I just spent the last half hour and I found them. And I'm kind of blown away because they're right over here. Because I also found two great grandparents that I not only never met but never heard of. And they're all buried right here in these four these four little bushes. No wonder I didn't find it. And I did have the coordinates. I mean, I, if I would have taken my time this afternoon, but I finally kind of settled in and just followed them, <laughs> followed the plan. And I'm going to have to come back and trim this out. But look at this. There's a, there's a triple named headstone in here. And I just want to share this with you, if I can get the camera in here. So it says, Father, this is my grandfather, Everett, Everett Carlson, 1907 to 1976. So he passed away when I was a junior in high school. And my grandmother, 1911, Dorothy, to 1972. Look at that. It's totally overgrown. Now this is my Auntie Susan. Over here I'm going to try it. Gosh, I can't even. It's going to be really hard. Hold on, bear with me. I can get my head. Oh boy. We got to... I'm going to have to come back and work on this, but look at this. That's my Auntie Susan. She took her own life when I was in eighth grade. I'll never forget, I'll never forget the scene at our house, because we lived nearby. She was living with my grandparents here. She was 30 years old, I think, yeah. And she took her own life, it was so sad. My grandfather, Everett, oh man, he, he really spent a lot of time with me especially with the Little League. He'd come to all my, I shouldn't say Little League, I was in Peanut League, it was called. And he'd come to all the games. Every game, he would never miss a game, my grandpa. He really loved me. And my grandma, she loved me too. And she was, I just remember the stories, the Thanksgivings mainly, and the cooking, and she'd always come out of the kitchen with sweat on her brow and sweat under her nose. She was working so hard in the kitchen to make these fabulous, the mashed potatoes she knew I liked. Ronnie, don't eat so much. Not too much butter. And Auntie Susan, my mom told me later she would always take me when I was little to the amusement park and all kinds of places she would take me, just her and I. What a great family. I have great memories. I have a picture of my grandma, my grandma Dorothy, and it was Christmas, and I think I'm sitting on her lap. And it was the most memorable Christmas present I wanted so bad, this thing called Creepy Crawlers. I wanted it so bad, and you see the smile on my face. I'm so happy I finally got it. Such a memorable Christmas. But my grandfather, he spent the most time with me. And he'd come, you know what he would do? He would, I was a pitcher, and I was a sidearm pitcher, you know, because you don't know what you're doing. And I'd throw it like that. <laughs> I wasn't bad, but he was always like, Ron, I'd see him in the stands, he'd be like, overhand, none of this. <laughs> that was Grandpa. But look at this over here. Now, I just happened to, you know, it's the bushes match. And here is 
Alfred Carlson, and that's my dad's middle name, so no coincidence. 1867 to 1917. Deb, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this to you. I didn't even know we're here of them. These are probably Selma. This is a great discovery for me, guys. Sharing it with you. 1882 to 1960. So I was one year old. One year old. Now look at this. So she died when I was one year old, but her husband, he didn't, he only made it to 1917. 50 years old. And he was born in 67. Much, you know, what, 12 years? No, older. So very interesting find for me. I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna have Deborah. Maybe we can find pictures. I don't have any pictures in either the family of them, but I have pictures of my grandpa and grandma. I think of Aunt Sue, I don't know. But maybe we can dig some information, find out if they came. Maybe they were the immigrants who came from Europe. Hey gang, I'm back at Memorial Park Cemetery here in Skokie. And I've got some more information on my ancestors. So I thought I would swing back here and update you. Deb last night did a fantastic job and found out a whole bunch of stuff. And by the way, we're not, we're still on the trail. If you guys want to jump in and you know, anybody that's into ancestry and if you want to do some research on this, jump in, I'll post it, whatever you find. This will be kind of like a hunt for all of us. But my newfound great-grandparents on my dad's side, right here, we have Alfred and Selma. And it turns out that Deb found that Alfred was born in Sweden and he must have married Selma here. I don't know when, but she is, and this is really breaking news for me, she, uh, Selma was born in Norway. So I have Norwegian blood and Swedish blood, both, along with on my mom's side, I'm fully German from the Frankfurt area. But yeah, very interesting. So I found some more information from Deborah. They lived on the Chicago, in downtown Chicago, it was Ward 26. It's got to be the north side, Herndon Street. I haven't really checked that out yet. But Alfred was a furrier, and it says industry, fur burners. Now I got to research that too, fur burners back in the 1800s, what did that mean? And what's interesting also is they did not appear to own a house. It says they, re they were renters. So, you know, those were tough days, immigrants coming in. And it's very interesting for me. So, of course, my grandfather that I remember so well, Everett, was one of their sons. And just confirming, Deb confirmed that there were uh, there was another son, Stanley, and I remember hearing Stanley, never met him. I think he was estranged from the family, maybe. He died in 92 in Rockford, Winnebago County. But the two other, the sisters, Olive and Florence, I remember Aunt Olive, I would call her Aunt Olive, it was my dad's aunt, and Aunt Florence Helene Carlson, who I knew as my Aunt Flo. Of course, again, it was my, my, as my great aunt. Amazingly, we found some pictures, we, not we, Deb found a picture, a couple of pictures of Aunt Flo, so I'm going to post that up right here. So if this wasn't all really interesting enough, I read on and finally I see what Deb had found is that my great-grandfather here, Alfred, his father, his name was Carl Swenson there in Sweden. So before the kids here were born, he must have changed the family name to... Carlson. 
So I wonder what the Swensons were up to. What did they do and who were their forefathers? All interesting stuff. So if I find any more information between now and when I post this episode, this little fun little episode, then I will I'll put it in the screen and then if you guys want to chime in, any of you, I know some of you are really into ancestry, that would be really cool. Go for it. And like I said, I'll post it and we'll, we'll keep following the cookie trail, so to speak. All right. So catch you later and be safe.